I'm coming from Denmark and I'm 26 years old and I will be the one representing Denmark in the World Championship for Sommiers in Antwerp. An education which here takes three and a half years, really giving you an in-depth uh, introduction to astronomy and hospitality and everything that is within that. So during this time of uh, waiter's trainee, I really start to interest about wine. I got introduced to all of the wonders it can bring to the table and really the magic for how wine and food can work together. My first ever experience with some sherry actually. <laughs> so from there on uh, I kept, uh, kept diving into the wine and in 2015 I passed not only my waiter's exam but also the Danish Wine Academy exam and became a member of the Danish Sommelier Association, which really was a big deal for me back then. Then I started competing uh, and just kept going on from that. And today I will be representing Denmark in the world. <laughs> so which person has influenced me the most? That is really a tough one to answer. <laughs> I will need to say two persons because the first one being the one who really introduced me to how you can study wine and the joy of that and the depth of wine, which was a guy called Rasmus Ambilasen. He is co-owner of Pelegel restaurant in Copenhagen as well. And he, as I said, really gave me a great, great understanding of what wine is and how to appreciate that. Secondly, it is Christian Torsold Jakobsen, who has previously been competing uh, in nationals, uh, internationals uh, for Denmark. Really a huge talent, an extremely good taster, and he was really the one who, who taught me how to keep going, not dropping the ambitions all the time, improving and to stay curious, and that they are so many undiscovered wines in this world that you can't even comprehend it. <laughs> so definitely a huge inspiration there as well and the one who learned me the competition world as well. So my main distinctions at Sommelier, I would say it is all the time being able to stay in level with the guests, which is the most important, all the time remembering that I am here for them, not the opposite way around. So it's really important to be a great people's person in that sense uh, in order to understand the person you're faced with and all the time feel how far you should go and what they're actually interested in having. So I would say that is uh, an asset of mine alongside great curiosity. Uh, I always want to explore more and know more. Uh, so yeah, I'll call it those two, I guess to win aren't they so of course I would be amazing over the moon but I find that a little bit unrealistic uh, due to the fact that I am quite young still and it is my first time at the Worlds so for this time my goal is to place myself in the semi-finals preferably of course on the higher uh, <laughs> ranking of the semi-finals but I really wish to to make it that far that could be a really great achievement for me now, as I already mentioned, I think hospitality is the most important, but also it is someone who should have a huge knowledge bank, really all the time uh, keep him or herself updated, understanding one at a deeper level, having a true passion for that and for everything, the people which in it, the technique, the chemistry, the geology, all of the aspect that it, uh, it comprehends wine, I think one should really truly appreciate and try to understand that it's a huge world so at the same time staying humble I think it's extremely important as a sommelier also because you are serving your guests and nobody wants to have an arrogant uh, server so secondly I think also it is very important that you share that passion that's really the ultimate goal of it I believe to share the passion with the guests not only that, also with your colleagues and all the time try to uh, share your knowledge. Uh, so I think that is what is making a truly great sommelier, apart from being a good taster as well. You need to be a good taster and love wine. <laughs>